Hello, hello, this is Janet from Mixed Media Mama. Welcome. Day 28 on hashtag creep on June 24. I love what I have seen so far. Wow. And Tracy, this is the best. Best ever, best story, and Oh, all right, let's just get right into what I am going to be doing. I have pretty much prepped everything and I have inked, I have cut out. And first of all, I will, this is day 28. This is my tag and things that I am using. And also a whole lot of the kit the ephemera kit and there is one page i believe the last page of the freebie that i am using if you do not know what that is i will link all of that things below on the freebies it is to tracy's kofi page and i will link that below uh it goes with her newsletter so please sign up for her newsletter all that information will be in the description below. So let's just jump right on in. As many of you know, as I print off my kits, I always, uh, let me retract that. I usually do a large and then a smaller of the same thing. Since this kit was so big, I picked and choosed on what I was going to do. Now, on since this is my day, I put this as large as I could get on the U.S. size on paper into my Epson printal printer, and it printed beautifully. I am putting putting this into my tag journal, and I will do a video at the very end of what all that is. I am very excited. That is just turning out fabulous. So anyway, I printed this tag as long as large as it could. And then I inked it all up. And the inks that I am using is, and you can't really see it because I put the um, dauber on top, but this is Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Um, I also use the Scorched Timber Distress Ink and then Ground Espresso, the Oxide. Take a little bit of a drink there. So I always do the, I, I start from the lighter of the inks first. So I started with Vintage Photo, edged it, and kind of came in. And as you can see, it is very different than the original and I wanted it as grungy as I could so I started off with a vintage photo and then went into the edged it a little bit more of the ground espresso and then just edged the very edge with the um, scorched timber so vintage photo ground espresso scorched timber that's how it's probably my jam on most distressing so as you can see and this looks like a wallpaper so then I came back into and used a stencil from Elizabeth craft design and this is the cracked part of the journal 3 and it's s as in Sam 052 you can it, on Elizabeth craft design and we'll put that link below and I just used the scorched timber through it and really grunged it up and made it look really really pretty definitely dried it because that's what you're supposed to do specifically with oxides then on the flip side I used one of Tracy's backgrounds. I loved the blue because it reminded me of what this house's wallpaper would have been. And so I kind of did the same thing. Used the same inks, did the same stencil, and made it look like wallpaper. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love that. Love that. So that is that 
for that. So the outside, and that's what this is going to be, is the front um, part of my cover, the very first. So we're going to be working on that. The other page that I use, <clears throat> excuse me, is this page. And I am using this envelope. And you don't need to worry about cutting this, the little flaps, because we're not going to be using them. So it's just this, and then I folded it in half. And this is of the ephemera in the ephemera kit. And so what I did is I cut that out, inked it, folded it. So this will be pretty much like this. So I'm going to glue that on. You'll be hearing my clock. Maybe the microphone will pick that up. I got that for a housewarming present from a very dear friend from Wyoming. And of course, I inked everything again. So therefore, yeah. all right. And then if you remember the tag on my page on day 28 page had candles in it and so I cut the candles apart and then I just inked them and there's the reason why I did that because I wanted and of course this is and what it says is with the lights turned off and candles flickering the room settled into an anxious hush because right at this time, the three um, investigators, Ernest, Carl, and Dorothy, the, <clears throat> excuse me, they came and they were going to be seeing if they can connect with the priest that was the bridge maybe the liaison to telling and the current priest the live priest all about the history of craftly hall <clears throat> i apologize excuse me so this is craftly hall this is a just a label that i got one from one of the one of the um, sheets of the ephemera. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to glue the large candle down because that's my, my largest piece and then I will work from there. needed to have that and of course i'm gonna paper clip this because the uh, base of my tag is printed on um, presentation paper it is quite sturdy um, when I want things to be really crisp and clear, my Epson printer um, prints on presentation. It's matte presentation paper. It's uh, sturdier than a regular copy paper. Otherwise, I pretty much just get colored um, copy paper if I wanted something um, else to be printed.
And I basically am going to just glue this right here. And I'm just going to have this, I am going to cut the remaining here off. Of course, I inked all of that. And I'm just going to glue the top half. Just so that the words could be seen. I'm going to guesstimate to where they're at. And then I'm going to cut this off. As you can see, I did, when I put the the front and the middle, the, 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 the tag and then the background together, I did take it to my machine and my sewing machine. And I, I'm a sewer. I absolutely love to sew. And I just think it gives it a, quite a bit of, texture and y'all know I'm just about texture love the more texture I can get the better off I am doing in my day it is just fantastic so that is what that looks right now so now I'm thinking of just put placing this right here right there and you know what I'm going to place a bit little bit of this. I um, stain or I, this is just basically cheesecloth. And what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to, I like to have a little bit I'm going to staple it and then I'm going to glue just underneath those staples. I'm going to put it quite a bit so because then I can make sure it stays. And I like to have that little bit of roughness up there. Just another little texture. I'm going to take my pliers to smush, there we go, to smush that those staples, flatten those staples down. Okay, going back, there it is. That is the front. Love that little, that, that can, I just think that is such a cool front. Tag, stenciled, sewed, envelope, candle, candle, the name. And I'm going off of what that is because at this point of the thing, um, at this point of the story, of course, everybody's having a seance doing, trying to get in touch with all of the spirits and the ghosts. And so the priest in, is trying to communicate with the investigators and then the other priest, the human priest, is finally figuring out that the ghost priest is one of his relations. Isn't that just, that is just the coolest. So from this point, I used, this is on the inside now, I am using a lot of ephemera because I want to focus on the seance. I want to focus on the investigators. And so what we have done then at this point, we are getting things out. I took the freebie, the third page of the freebie, Craftly Hall freebie. This is page three, and I am using this. But really, I'm just using this part right here to right here. This is the part to make a pocket. Notice on the inside, I've done that crack thing too. I used the ground espresso this time because I wanted it really to be in the background versus the um, scorched timber on the front. 
So back to here, this is only going to be, I cut it out and it, I would say it is going to be about a two inch, two inch. And I really wanted to focus on the names and the location. And then the other side was fairly blank. And so I made that, I took a part of a frame and you can see I took part of a frame here. You can kind of see that frame. And I just cut it in half to make a tuck pocket because then I'm gonna take this, this is the little thing for the Ouija board. And that's going to be, because of course that needs to happen when you, in the story, they used that because the priest ghost was knocking the answers to the investigators and the human priest. So we needed to have that. That goes along with communicating. So that is going, I am just going to glue it right here, here and around. The story of this was just phenomenal. I listened it, listened to it. I mean, this is my jam. I absolutely love murder mysteries. I love mysteries. And the if it's from the 1600s all the way up to the 19, early 1900s, oh, I just absolutely love it. I don't know. I think I, I just... Oh. Anything Agatha Christie, it is oh, yummy, yummy. So, therefore, that is pockets right there. Let's go ahead and decorate the back. First of all, this is the group. The three investigators and, of course, the young couple who own. They're all around that table with the candles. So that is going to go right there. So I am not going to tuck that in. I'm going to paste it on to, I'm thinking, trying to make believe that this inside of the tag is the wall to their, that they would. So I'm going to Paste that onto the wall. Yeah, I think you guys are following me. Then in the kit, in the ephemera kit, you will find a sheet. And I don't know what part of the ephemera that has these pictures. And it's pictures in frames. And they're usually about an inch, an inch to a half. Well, I have shrunk them down 50% on my printer so I can have really tiny, small. And this is what's going to go onto the wall right here. I'm going to flip that one there and have that one there. So we're going to glue that one down, these down. So we are putting, and these beautiful people are the people that have been affected by the plague in the 1600s when the plague came through. And I don't mind that it was wonk, these are wonky. I'm, in fact, I'm gonna make it crooked because that's what they would be on the wall because of course the tenants of the previous tenants, or the past tenants, 
they left everything. They just left everything in the house. And then Mr. and Mrs. Bin Binder, they came and moved in. So all of these pictures were still on the wall when they moved in. So they just left them. And these are pictures of the people that are still roaming around in the house. Whether they are inside or outside, some have pictures on the inside and then, and some are in roaming the cemetery. So they are on the wall along with the, the investigators. So if I remember right, there was a, another tag and I cut the candles out of the tag and put flames on them from other, another set of candles. So I just put these together. I put the flames to these dark candle abras and we are going to put that, just attach them right here. Just at the base. Because of course I put a little bit of fabric and an old vintage measuring tape just for fun. just to give it a little bit more visual texture. Because you all know I'm about texture. The more texture we can have, the better off it's going to be. And you can put texture, you don't have to. That is totally up to you. But I love that look. So this little Ouija board, it's, it's the thing there you put the, you know, I, from what I, I've never used a Ouija board. But I would assume I've seen videos of it, of people doing that. So on this pack, this, I am imagining, and I will tell you how I did this. This is one of the frames that has the white inside. And on one of the... And it is probably a two by two, two and a half by two and a half frame. It is regular size printing. And so if you see this girl, she is a, a little one and a three fourths by two inch part of the ephemera. And I don't know which page it is, but she has that look. So what I did, I cut out the center of this frame and I took, and if you can see, you see the shine there? I took one of Tim Holtz's cracked windows. You can see the cracked and I put it right over her eyes, the opening of that cracked window right there. And then I put a piece of mica, tiny little fragment of piece of mica. And then I sewed it all together. Now. That's the effect that I wanted. I wanted her to seem like she is being brought out of the picture and she sees through that picture and uh, of being one of the departed. If you do not have any mic or if you do not have any of Tim Holtz cracked acetates you just use a piece of plastic if you want from a um a ziploc bag or a piece of you know any types of plastic and you can glue it underneath the frame and over her face i'll let you look at that one more time there you can see the I just think it is so beautiful with that and she is going to be prominently displayed right there and you can see where I sewed on the back I'll just glue her in
I just love. She looks so eerie behind that plastic. Look at that. She just looks so eerie. Love that. That is so spooky. Like she is watching the whole seance. Oh, that is so cool. And now it is just a matter of tucking things in. So this is just a beautiful tag. And these, I can just see that these are still the people that are just walking the halls of Craftley Hall. So that is just a tag I inked, and we're going to put that there. And here is another, you can see that little girl, she got affected by the plague, and so she's still walking also. And of course, here's a little girl from the cemetery. And of course, this is the priest that is doing the knocking. This is a beautiful tag. And of course, the hand with no finger. I believe there was a part of the story that was that. And then the picture with the crystal ball. And last but not least, oh, I already have her in here. Yep. So that is the tag that I am making. So I hope you like that. That is easy, very reasonable, and this will go into my journal that I am making for Creep on June. Thank you, everyone. Like and subscribe for down below, and I will please click on tomorrow's video, and you will... I will link that calendar down below also, and let me know, and please post creep on, hashtag creep on June 24. Till then, bye now.